Hello and welcome back to War Thunder. And uh, today we'll uh, be having a look at the uh, free to play game War Thunder. Um, here I'm in a Bristol Blemming, I believe, from memory. It's a light bomber uh, with a payload of 425 pound bombs, I think, from memory. Um, this is the start of a um, domination game where you have to capture a set of points um, while also destroying ground units and air units. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I decided I'm going to start by doing a bomb run and you probably see see the line of red dots on the screen sort of in front of me on the road that's going to be the target I'm going to go down uh, and bomb them just because they're moving targets it's easier to just keep from low um, fortunately it's because we're on the risk of being intercepted by fighters which could happen on this occasion um, you know, it's a bit sad, but there's a bomb, there's a bomb, there's a bomb. I don't actually remember if this works, but as you can see, none of the uh, my machine guns do anything, the tanks. Um, now, you see, I'm pulling 9G there, uh, which is quite a lot, and that's my engine down. The engine round, uh, sort of hoping my gunner can, can do a little bit, but it won't do enough. And I'm down. Uh, so, see, that was two minutes of flight, most of that being travelling to the target. She knows a bit of a shame. But, um, yeah, this has got two games, I believe, go as a. Um, a ground attack game as well, um, so slightly different. Um, now you see, I'm in the Spitfire now, and because I want to get to the target quickly, um, dive down. I'm going 500 uh, kilometers an hour. Um, so yeah, and see my altimeter is according to sea level not radar altimeter which is uh, accurate for the time uh, so you see I'm 130 meters above sea level but I'm only a few meters exactly above land um, and I see I'm going to go and I'm going towards uh, sea must be um, and um, I don't know why I'm going to go and attack these vehicles again, because there's no point, because I can't kill them. Um, I think it's just a bit of fun really, you know, mess around. Um, but what I can hit are the armoured positions, which I believe I actually get shot down by one. See where that sort of smoke's rising in front of me, I believe that's a position. Yep. There it is, go, go, ooh, <coughs> pulled about 8 G's go, which is a, a fair amount. Um, now, come back around, and I have a feeling I'm crashing on it, um, from memory, I guess it was recorded a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, I did crash. Um, so, yeah, um, so, you see I've got three planes to use, I've got a Hurricane, a Spitfire and a Blemming. Um, so I've got two fighters and a bomber at the moment, hopefully I'm going to switch probably the Hurricane out for a fighter bomber um, <coughs> uh, soon. Sorry about that, but um, still not really sure what to go for because uh, I'm going to go down a little bit before I can get a fighter bomber really. Um, Um, but yeah, um, 
so um, this is oh now you see here I'm getting shot at by what I believe was an enemy but I now believe is a um, <coughs> was a friendly now you see you can see inside now but I was trying to work out what the free view look was but I couldn't work it out um, I was going to have a look at the cockpit um, but couldn't in the end that was a bit of a shame now I can't remember what happened with this so I have a feeling that I do actually die quite quickly uh, I might be wrong I might survive but we haven't got very long left if we're being dominated quite badly at the moment um, there are two of the three airfields um, which um, yeah, I must say the domination game eggs are a bit boring and a bit crap really. Um I don't really like them. Uh I prefer the ground attack uh ground strike game mode. Um and unfortunately domination game mode comes up way too much, um, personally. And it comes up way too much, um really. Um comes up way too much. Oh I know what I do. I think I try and capture my points. Uh, which, you know, is alright but it doesn't really make much difference to be fair. Um as you can see the um counter there is gone. So that by the time I land it's uh end of the game, which is a bit of a shame. See, nice little landing. Um, see here, I capture, and then that's it. The game's over. Anyway, so um, <coughs> what you didn't really get to see there was any of the um, really the any effects you get from the shooting. Now I'm just going to go through and show you. So. Um, the ones that are sort of gold on the right hand side, that you pay for them um, with real money, with real currency. And then down here you've got um, sort of the jet aircraft, so you've got vampires and um, meteors, that sort of stuff. Um, and you see sort of uh, down there you've got the Lancasters as well, which is uh, something I'm looking forward to. Now, uh, I've now got the Wellington and I'm not actually very happy with it, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a bit crap. Um, doesn't seem to work very well, though it has got 10 bombs, which is nice. You've got sort of hurricanes and stuff here. And, uh, so each one's better at doing stuff, so certain ones are better at researching. Um, as like a. As a um, a um like a bonus feature of each one is some that are good at researching or some that aren't as good at researching. But here you see here uh you've got realistic and simulation battles as well as arcade. I guess you could do arcade. It's a bit easier and uh, a bit more fun most of the time. Now here I can't remember what I do. I think I just mess around for a bit. Um Unfortunately, no sound. That's uh, because of a technical issue I had with recording. It's a bit of a shame, really. Um, see here, Essen. Um, the Battle of Essen was quite big, quite a big thing. Um, so, it says in order to destroy enemy airfields, you must destroy bombing targets first. Now, basically, what you have is see, I've just gone to the gunner seat. You know, I'm going to pop at the uh, I believe that's a fighter bomber behind me. Now you see it gives three sort of targets ahead. Um what you do is you destroy them and then you can destroy the main airfield, the enemy airfield. Um that's what it means by bombing targets. Um in hindsight that actually what that's what it means rather than um what 
I was confusing it with, which was destroy land vehicles. Now you do need to destroy a certain amount of land vehicles. Um, the attacking land vehicles, you need to take out a proportion of them before you start destroying the first bases. Um, now with the Wellington with 10 bombs on, of 250 pounds, um, this has become a lot easier and a lot nicer. Now you see here, I'm just gonna, I don't know what I dropped my first set of bombs on actually. Um, probably not a lot. Now you see here that <coughs> I've now met with the fighter force, uh, enemy bomber force, sorry. Um, now, um, most of the time, bombers don't really. Uh, attack each other you occasionally get it every now and then but really there's not a lot of bomber there's a few pot shots like I'm doing here just sort of taking a few shots at them but really there's not a lot goes on between bombers because you try to line up for your own bomb runs so you're you know hit, um, in combat maneuvers then it seems a bit pointless Let's see here, I'll go back to the main view. No, I don't know what I do here. Uh, oh, I think I decided to go for a dive. Um, I don't know why I do this actually. Um, my main strategy would be Wellington with the. with this Glen, sorry. With the Wellington, I have a different strategy which is um, stay high. Uh, just keep out the fighter attacks really um, because otherwise now you see here I'm going to flak um, come up now what I do stupidly is follow the bomb down I think oh no I do survive that's surprising I must say actually now you see here there's actually a set of uh, oh ok yep that would be tracers now um, tracers are good because as a pilot you can see where you where roughly your bullets are going quite easily but obviously as you get seen um, you know can be a downside to you but you see here I'm getting shot at quite badly not massively badly but you see there's a few bullet holes around mainly the rear tail thing now see here that's getting quite bad you see as the bullets increase you can actually lose parts of the skin on uh, your pl plane so you can lose um, see there on the left wing I've lost a bit of sort of skin um, now that affects like roll or uh, lift and speed and turning circles and stuff like that um, so it can be quite important now I do hit a tree there um, a bit of a shame but you know I've got two of the planes to mess around with so um, you see that our bases my uh, bases have been damaged on our side um, and we haven't really damaged theirs a lot that now I'm going to take the blame there but now here I decided I was going to go and try and attack some of the bombers. Um, this didn't work very well. I'm trying to climb sort of three kilometres up, two kilometres up to engage these people is rather hard. You end up trying to, um, well, I end up stalling this thing in the end because um, you can't really get a decent climb rate without losing a lot of speed, um, which is a which is a problem with these aircraft, I believe the later aircraft have slight increases of uh, have a better time um, climb rate which is nice now what's this stupid thing actually go away child I know you like you um, now that's um, you see here I'm starting to climb a little bit but you quickly realise how much higher they are than you and actually you're not that far away from them but they're quite a bit higher up. And that person's going away from me, which is not good. Um, you can't really engage someone that's getting further away than you. Now, see up here again. We've got uh, 
uh, planes. Now I believe this plane decides to engage me and end up losing all my height. Which is a bit of a shame, but you know, these must. Oh yeah, I <coughs> engage. I'm going to back out because I don't want to lose all the height that he's losing. Um, because for him it's probably quite useful because I believe it's a dive bomber so for him losing height is perfectly normal but yeah look and I, I've lost all speed uh, and now trying to re-engage is stupid but I do I try to take a shallower angle uh, and then even shallower and this is where I start taking fire from the plane itself. You see, I sort of just dive, and now you see, the plane comes up straight behind me and just takes me out almost instantly. Now, um, that happens a fair amount. You'll get sort of no warning from certain planes. Um, some of the planes have sort of like four, four to eight guns um, with uh, incendiary. Um, bullets on which uh, quite easily take you down now, you see here our bases are, are down however we're actually we're about even that's uh, because of our ground attacks um, and probably because the amount of fighters we're taking down and uh, bombers we're probably keeping up in that sense um, which is good. I think we have actually damaged some of the we have damaged the enemy bases, but you have to sort of hover over them for them to show. And you see here, I've got uh, well, I've nearly got 600 kilometers a second, so you can get some speed up. Yeah, you see there, we have damaged them a little bit, not a massive amount really, not so much as we need to to win, but it's enough. Now, where I was with that bomber um, earlier. Uh, well, the last two planes when I was attacking and when I was above, you'll still get flak as you go over enemy bases. You'll get AA fire quite easily. Um, doesn't tend to damage you. Uh, you. They occasionally get a lucky shot off, and you will. Now you see here, I've got I'm going up on a night fighter because Gap is a fighter bomber, uh, not a night fighter. Um, but I'm going up on a on a fighter bomber. Now, they're fairly dangerous for our ground units, uh, so I decided I'm going to engage it. Now you see there, a plane went straight over the top of me. Now, I don't know how it did that and where it went in the end, but... And then re-engage this and run out of ammo, so we'll reload, which is a uh, 13 second delay for the Spitfire. While this plane that I'm attacking is shooting back at me, um, as it will do. Now there you go, no seconds, scrape back in. Fortunately, it was a second too late for the guy that he shot down. Um, but I do get an Avenger LNI victory. Um, so yeah, now I have a feeling that I actually wait. Yeah, I do. Um, but I'll end it here because I'm sure you don't want to watch me. Um, oh no, I don't, I do quit. I don't know what I do after this though. Um, I'll sort of leave it here um, ish um, yeah I'll leave it here because the rest of it is not particularly interesting for me because setting up ready for uh, my next game so thanks for watching and goodbye